if you want a free note-taking app that is really easy to use, is available to you no matter where you are, and syncs across all of your devices, then I suggest that you give Google Keep a try. So I use Google Keep on a daily basis in my own business as well as for personal use because it is great for your weekly shopping list. And there is so much more to it than just taking notes. You can share your notes. You can set time and place reminders for your notes. You can add images and drawings to them. You can color code them. And you can use Keep with other Google apps like Gmail and Google Docs to help you be that little bit more productive. Now in this video, I'm showing you how to use Keep on an Android phone. So if you're ready, then let's get started. Google Keep syncs across all of your devices, making it really easy to access no matter where you are. And you're going to learn the basics of how to use it on an Android phone. Firstly, you need to go into your Google Play Store and download the Google Keep app from the Play Store. Then once it's downloaded, find it in your apps and click on it to open it. Now, depending on how many Google accounts you have, it will automatically open up using whichever Google account you're currently logged into on your phone. If it's the wrong one, simply click on the profile image in the top right corner and choose the, the Google account that you want to open in Keep. So to create a new note, you click on the plus icon in this bottom right corner. Then you give it a title and then fill in the details. Now you'll notice across the top of the screen that you have a few icons. The first one is to pin the note. So it's all, it will always be displayed as the first note that you see. And then to unpin the note, just click on the pin again. The next icon along is to set a reminder. So this can be either a time or a place reminder. So for example, I set the place reminder as the store where I do my weekly shopping. And it basically brings up my shopping list every time I arrive at that store. It's really handy. And the final icon across the top is the archiving icon. So this basically removes the note from your current notes page and puts it into the archive folder and any relevant labels, if any, are applied. So moving on to the options at the bottom of the screen, you've got on the left hand side, you've got the plus symbol. If we click on there, it will bring up some more options for you. So this is where you can take a photo, you can add an image to the note, you can add a drawing add a voice recording and the final option is to add tick boxes so this changes the note from this changes this note to a list the next icon along is the paint palette so if you click on there you can change the color of the background and you can apply a background image as well if you want to the next icon is for formatting text so you can put stuff in bold you can underline things and um, it's pretty self-explanatory really you then have the undo and the redo buttons next to it and then the final option on the bottom is the three dots. So if we click on there, it brings up a few more options. So here's where we can delete the note. We can make a duplicate copy of it. We can send it, which will copy it to Google Docs, or you can send it through other apps on your phone. You can share the note by clicking on collaborator and then adding the person's email address of who you want to share it with. You can add a label to the note if you want to. And the final option is help and feedback, which gives us some useful resources if you need any help using it. So that's what's available when you create or click into any note or list. So now that we're back on the main screen, you can see there's another four icons across the bottom of this screen. So the first one, this checkbox, is to create a new list. So again, you would give it a title and then add in the list items. There's a couple of items there. We've got the same formatting options across the bottom as we had before with the note, but the only thing different with this is that you've now got three dots to the right of the title of the list. So if we click on there, there's an option now to hide checkboxes. So this means it will change it from a list back to a note. The next icon along the bottom of the main page is to create a new note with a drawing. So if we click on there, it opens up the drawing tools. And across the bottom, you've got the select tool, the eraser, and then the pens. Now, if we click on one of the pens, it will bring up um, the colors. And there's a little arrow to the right of the color. If you click on there, it opens up some more colors for you. And then along the bottom, you've got the options to select the thickness of the point, the pen point. And then across the top of the screen, we've got the back arrow which takes us back to the note. Then we've got the undo and redo buttons. And if we click on the three dots over on the right, it gives us an additional menu where we can show the grid. So if we click on there, this opens up the different background grids that are available to you. So you can see that's now a dotted background. 
and the next one down on the three dots is to grab the image text. So this is really handy if you've taken a photograph of a page in a notebook, for example, you could upload the image to the note and then grab the image text and it will type out all the text from that image. It's really useful if you take lots of screenshots as well. Then the next option down is copy, which copies the drawing to the clipboard. And then we've got send, which sends the drawing via different apps that are on your phone. And the final option is to delete the drawing. So if we click on the back arrow to go back to the note, we can give it a title and some details. And then click the back arrow to get back to the main screen and there's the drawing that we've just done. Going back to the icons across the bottom of the screen, the next one along is to create a new voice note. So this is a really handy feature. If you click on the microphone, and then it asks you to say something. So just start talking and it will now type out everything that you say. It's such a time saver and I often use this if I'm out walking the dog and inspiration hits me, then I can just click into my keep and start a voice note. When you've finished, just stop talking. And it will now upload it as a note. Now the text will need formatting, but the great thing is that it also saves a copy of the recording with the note itself. So you can always click back into it and listen to it again if you need to. You can also remove the recording if you don't want it saved with the note by clicking on the trash can here on the right hand side and it will delete it. It is a really handy tool. So the final icon across the bottom is to create a new note with an image. So click on there and you can either take a photo or choose an image from your gallery. So to select multiple notes, you press and hold the first note that you want to select and then tap any others that you want to include. It tells you in the top left corner here how many are selected and you've got the icons across the top to apply a bulk action such as pin them all or add labels and so on. So I'll quickly take you through where to find the different menus now. Starting with the top left corner, you've got the hamburger menu, the three horizontal lines here. Click on there and it brings up a menu much the same as the left hand menu in the main Keep web page on the browser. So you've got a list of the folders to be able to filter just what you want to see. So for example, you can click on a label folder and it will show just the notes that include that label. You've also got the archive and deleted folder and the settings folder as well. So if we click on the settings folder, this is the same menu as the settings on the web page. So any changes you make here will automatically change when you access Keep on your computer as well. Next across the top is the search bar, so click into there and it brings up the same filtering system as the web page. So you can easily and quickly search for a specific type of note or label or anybody that you've shared the, the note with and so on. Next we have the view layout, so you can toggle between the list view and the grid view. And that's how to keep on your Android phone. Now just remember that anything you do on here will auto automatically be updated the next time you open up your Google Keep on the computer. So you can also use Keep alongside Google Docs on your PC. And this video shows you a few quick ways of how they can be linked together to save you a bit of time when it comes to jotting down ideas and so on. I really hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you use Keep already or if it's something that you're going to now try. And don't forget, if you're a member of my Admin Ninja membership here on YouTube, then keep an eye out for a community post where I share a special discount just for you. And if you want to become a member of this channel membership, then click on the join button, which I think is somewhere below the video, not above, below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.